It depends on the situation you're in, right? Like if you're in an exclusive relationship, it might not be best to do abundance from the standpoint of dating other guys, unless you're not in an exclusive relationship. And then that is the best thing to do. And if you felt like a cheater, eh, you know, what it probably says is that you're really, really hooked on that guy and you need to do some things, not only necessarily from the standpoint of dating more men so that you feel that abundance, but also from creating kind of abundance of connection, right? So what we're really talking about here is not only having an abundance of options, but we're also talking about having an abundance of connection so that you're not your only connection isn't with this guy. So it's like, oh, if this connection gets shut off, all of a sudden it's like devastating to your world. And it might be that you need some other types of connections in your life. It might be that you need some more female connections. It might be that you need some platonic male connections. It might be that you need some connections with children or with animals or with other things, nature maybe, right? Like just getting different types of connection where you're you're feeling connected to things and you have an abundance in your life and you have other things that are going on. So you're not so like, you know, focused and tunnel visioned on this dude and what's this dude doing and if this guy's doing the right thing or not and it's driving you crazy because it's, ah, it's just this guy and ah, 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 right? And so you want to make sure that that you're not so kind of stuck on a dude that you are just like freaking out and losing your mind.